Hi guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial. This is a new tutorial I'm creating and this is based on page 64 encoding and decoding. So some of you might be aware that base 64 encoding is a very useful feature uh, which, which is used in many applications and in case you are not aware what it is. So let me briefly explain what exactly it is. So base 64 encoding is used for converting binary files in to ASCII string format. So for example, let's say you have a binary file which could be an image file or it could be a PDF file and you want to send it to another application through XML webs or XML based web service. Now what you need to do is you have to convert the binary file into a string of ASCII characters and for that base64 is useful. So this ASCII character string, advan another advantage is it will not contain any special characters which can cause problem while transmitting the file to another system. So that's why base64 is used. Now in this uh, tutorial we will learn that a very simple way on how to create a base64 string equivalent of a binary file. And in this, so for this tutorial, I have a very, I have a very small sample PDF file, which we will take and convert it to a binary string equivalent. And then again, we will deco uh, equivalent by encoding uh, with base64. And then again, we will, what we will do is we will decode it and uh, write it back to output stream so as to prove that encoding and decoding is working fine. So I have created a very simple Java project and this Java project has just one file called base64 example as you can see. Um, now I have already created two methods one is called load file so load file is going to ex expect a string uh, name of the file which needs to be loaded and I have also created one more simple method called read fully. So it will, so input stream will be passed to this method and this method will just convert a byte array equivalent of the PDF file. So let's see how to write this code. So we will declare a string variable which will represent the file name for the input file. So I already have a file uh, which is sample PDF file in C drive workspace folder. So I'll copy the file name C colon workspace slash dot PDF which, which is a very a generic uh, PDF file which I downloaded from the internet. <coughs> so I since I already have written method to convert this file into a binary stream binary byte array I will use it. So I'll say byte array equals load file So this method will return the file into byte array format. Now we will convert it into uh, base64 encoded string but before that there is a compile error. The, the reason is I think because it's calling a method called load file which throws IO exception so we need to handle it in this method as well. So 
I can click it here and say add those declaration okay now we'll say string uh, file in base 4 equals now we will use the data type converter class dot there is a method called uh, parse no we want to sorry i'm sorry print base 64 so we will use the second parameter so as you can see it says converts an array of bytes into string so in and the format would be base 64 <coughs> so we will use file in bytes as the input <coughs> so just to prove that it converted we will say system dot out dot print ln <coughs> and <coughs> so our very simple program is ready so let's run it as you can see it has converted it into <coughs> byte array sorry base 64 string from the byte array <coughs> now we will write this uh, string into again a pdf so, which means although we have encoded it into base 64 but we have not stain, still seen like how to convert it back to a pdf file so that is also very simple <coughs> so what we will do is we will decode this file so decode the string so we will say uh, byte array decoded uh, uh, decoded uh, file equals data type converter dot parse binary parse base 64 binary so it is going to parse a base 64 binary and <coughs> convert it back to byte array of binary data now what we need to do is we will just create a file a output stream and write this file so we'll say file output stream and this it will take a variable equals new file output and we will say that i want to write it into c drive work space and uh, new pdf sample dot pdf okay so this is what will be the output now we will say file output stream dot write and we will give the decoded file so it will write it there then we will say file output stream dot flash so that it will clear the buffer and finally we will say file uh, output stream dot close so that should be all so let's see we'll run it and see whether this works properly or not so we will run it like this now we will go to our folder and you see that this has created new pdf sample and let's see the size 
both the sizes are same just now it created if you see 944 pm so this 944 pm it has created this file and if i open it it will open as a pdf file so so this is how you write a, a encode or decode binary data so friends i hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, if you can also use this uh, same code in your program and i will also post this code into my blog and that url will be given below so you can see that link below okay so in case you have liked or you found this useful please like uh, my video and also please leave your comments if you have any suggestion or if you need any uh, other uh, examples or problems which you are facing which you want me to solve thank you and uh, i hope to meet you next time bye bye